pass on the floor to the Baha'i international community. President, the release last month of six innocent Yemeni Baha'is from a Sana prison should have been a moment of relief, but it was colored by injustice when the Houthi authorities made the release conditional on the Baha'is leaving the country. The first of these six was jailed seven years ago and later sentenced to death. The five others were imprisoned in subsequent years. Some were severely tortured and all faced baseless and religiously motivated charges. Yemen is their home. They had no wish to leave. But the harsh treatment and dangerous environment created in Yemen for all Baha'is, where senior Houthi figures have spread hate speech and called for the community to be destroyed, meant that these six had no safe way to remain. Over 20 Baha'is are currently involved in a court case where they face baseless accusations such as espionage. The death sentence against one of the released Baha'is had not been revoked, despite the president of the Houthi Supreme Political Council pardoning him in March. During a recent hearing of this case, the other five Baha'is were also branded as fugitives, despite being released by the Houthis themselves, and their bailers were pressed to return them to Yemen to face their original charges. Baha'is are targeted more than any other group. They are a litmus test for the rights in the country. The recognition of the rights of Baha'is to worship and practice their faith would also then grant the same freedom to all the peoples of Yemen. Extreme experts, how can the Houthis release prisoners, force them to leave the country, and then brand them as fugitive? And how did they respond when pressed on this case for obvious religious persecution? Thank you very much.